Serums Introduction Serum actually means blood plasma from which fibrinogen has been removed. It may contain numerous chemical substances including antibodies, antitoxins, etc. Toxins are poisonous proteins released by pathogenic bacteria during their growth or on their breakdown after they die. Functions of serums Serums contain antitoxins, that is chemical substances, of a particular pathogen. Serums are used as a preventive measure against bacterial invasion. For preparing serum, a small dose of bacterial toxin is introduced into the blood of a healthy animal such as a horse or a cow. The body produces antitoxins to neutralize the effect of the toxin. After several injections of the same toxin, the blood of such an animal is taken out. On chilling, it clears a straw color liquid which separates out from the clot and is called serum. Snake bite treatment involves injecting the particular antivenine produced from the blood of horses use in genetic engineering genetic engineering has made it possible to introduce the human genes in certain bacteria like Escherichia coli or E coli these bacterial cultures grow very rapidly The particular gene-dependent products are extracted from these bacteria. The hormone insulin was the first such substance produced by this bacterium. A few serum compounds produced by genetically modified bacteria are Blood clotting factor 8 for the treatment of hemophilia a. Factor 9 for the treatment of hemophilia. B. Vaccines. Common vaccine. Vaccine is any germ or germ substance introduced into the body for developing resistance to the particular disease. Vaccines are available for a variety of diseases such as cholera, typhoid, measles, chickenpox, etc. On injecting them into the body, the person gets the disease in mild form and his body gets stimulated to produce antitoxins. The antitoxins provide immunity against any future attack of the particular disease germs. So, antitoxin is a substance produced in animal bodies which reacts with the poisons or toxins produced by the invading germs. The whole microorganisms are being cultured for producing certain vaccines. Two common vaccines obtained by growing bacteria are as follows. Killed bacteria for TAB vaccine for typhoid. Living weakened bacteria for BCG vaccine for tuberculosis. Toxoids. What are toxoids? Toxoids are the inactivated toxins of the particular bacteria which can still stimulate the production of the respective antibodies such as those for producing immunity against diphtheria and tetanus.